AVS Media Demo. Okay, great. Can you just raise the screen a little? Okay, perfect. Okay, so shall I start? Yeah, yeah. yeah. AVS Media Demo. Okay, okay. So, uh, hi, Adam. And this is first for me to speak over Skype at a conference, so please bear with me. I hope you all hear me well. Okay, so maybe just a, just a few words about myself for a start. Uh, my name is Christoph Willen. I started a project People's Intelligence about a year ago, and we set up a foundation AVS in, Media in Demo. December last year. We got our first funding in June, and uh, since then we're trying basically now to um, get our needs and requirements together with a series of other stakeholders so that we can start developing a big policy this year. But um, let me get to the presentation. Can we go to the next slide, please? Yes. AVS Media Demo. Okay. So I think when it comes to crowdsourcing information, currently we're facing quite a, quite a problems. Often uh, the information quality is quite low. So the people on the ground, while they're the experts of their own situation, they're not experts in the fields that we're interested in, say IHL or uh, humanitarian relief or other fields. AVS so, Media Demo. Information which is low in quality. Say a tree which is 160 characters long that doesn't answer all the questions we're interested in. Sometimes you get uh, a tree, say, that says, oh, um, some border guards have experience at the border between Syria and we don't know the date, and we don't know the exact location, we don't know who the perpetrator is. AVS Media Demo. So it's very, very relevant information, of course, but it doesn't answer basic questions that we need to get answered. The same is valid for footages which are smuggled out from countries under conflict. We don't know what is the source of that video, we don't know where that video was shot, um, even though the video might be highly relevant. So it becomes very resource AVS media to start demo. Piecing the different pieces of the puzzles together to get a overall picture and to start to corroborate and triangulate the information that we receive via court sources from technology. Another problem that we're facing uh, with current crowdsourcing initiatives, I feel, is that I mean there is a lot of feedback to the people who are actually providing us with this information. So both traditional organizations but also AVS media demo. Rarely um, feedback information to the people which have been provided them information in the first place. And the first problem is often also the lack of security. What I mean by the lack of security, it starts basically by informing the people on the ground who are sending information via crowdsourcing technology of the risk they're taking in sending us information. AVS Media yeah, Demo. GSM networks, which we know are inherently unsafe. Or even, I mean, uh, on a platform where sometimes they even ask to provide details. Uh, and, and, and complete identification, which might also be a problem. So that was very shortly what I believe are the main issues that we're facing when we talk about courses nowadays. So um, AVS is, Media uh, Demo. And maybe solutions to those problems. And we go to the next slide. Okay. So I believe it is about time that we start shifting the paradigm. What I mean by that is that currently the paradigm is a monologue. So people on the ground are sending over information that are used by third parties to their interests and their own uh, policies and then AVS uh, Media Demo. Like the people, like I mentioned. So instead of um, having those monolith folks at uh, engaging functions. Next slide, please. Okay. So how are we gonna go, uh, go about this? What what we propose at People's Intelligence is to have a guided collection. Very simply, by um, allowing AVS to Media to demo. Their, uh, their text or their voice and, and, and to get prompted a series of questions. Very broad questions, very holistic questions, no specific categories that people need to tag or anything like that. Very quickly, I mean, basic questions that allow us to get a complete picture of what might have happened. So typically, uh, <clears throat> when did the things happen? AVS and Media and demo. Provide specific dates along a, a certain format where it happened to happen and allow people to provide us with a location and then we could automatically check uh, if that location is a no-share file, which is a no-share file, fine, we go to the next question. If that location does not be a no-share file, we can ask additional questions to persons and describe us basically where that location is 
AVS Media Demo. Asking them for distance and directions um, <clears throat> from their office, for example. We could ask them also, I mean, what happened? And they could tell us it with their own words. And then we could use in the backhand, I mean, some semantic and syntactic analysis. I mean, the first bit information we see along the map. AVS Media Demo. Victims also committed, you know, I mean, the incident, if it's, say, a crime or a human rights violation that we're interested to get information about. And also, importantly, I mean, how the persons know. Is it somebody that they heard from a neighbor? Uh, or is it something that they saw directly or they did uh, themselves? Which is very key, I mean, to be able to assess also the credibility of the AVS Media the Demo. So that's the first part of um, the, the ID, basically, behind people intelligence and how we think that we can probably uh, uh, get better um, and more relevant information to the people uh, who are in part to access areas. Next slide, please. Now, once you get structured information, uh, you can AVS Media with Demo. With partners, I mean, depending on the information that you get, you can also build scenarios as to what answers you can feedback to the people. So say you get information about location, date and time, and type of incidents that occur, right? then you can reply also, I mean, potentially life-saving information to people in, uh, uh, also, I mean, by means of just or other uh, modes of communication. AVS so, Media I'll Demo. A very simple example, say we have a, a sexual abuse victim who is texting about um, uh, that abuse and is telling where and when that abuse occurred, we could tell that person uh, typically where uh, to go and get that kids, uh, which are way more works, um, you know, within 72 hours, location nearby. Okay. If, of course, I mean, such a location. AVS is Media course, Demo. I mean, such kids are available. Or, for example, uh, I will take another example. Say we have people uh, who are fleeing uh, uh, their village uh, from an attack, and we also tell them where to nearby an uh, IDP camp where some protection is being offered, say, by peacekeepers, for example. Or, for example, where is the next fresh book point that they can access if um, they have a lack of fresh AVS book. Media Demo. At the same time, once you get relevant information which is structured, it's also easier to send early warning signals to organizations in the area that they early, early on, I mean, they are alerted that some incidents happen that might be fit within their mandate. Next slide, please. The second part of the idea, of course, I mean, AVS is to Media ID. Demo. Because as we know, I mean, you often get information that is not verified or which is difficult to verify. So, again, let me take an example. Say we have a person who is sending information for the first time. So, all we have, uh, for example, they send information via uh, mobile phones, and all we have is a telephone number. We don't have this telephone number in our databases, so we don't know that person. AVS so that Media that Demo. That person to us is sent up. We don't know if we can trust that person or not. Also, say that the information that the person is provides us, I mean, cannot be triangulated with other information in your database that shares similar characteristics to the information they provide us. Or, say we call the web for I mean, information about that particular incident they're telling us about, and we AVS Media Demo. The credibility of that information is, again, unknown. What other options is that she has? Again, I think that by initiating conversations back with the people on the ground, say the partners which are in the area where the incident happened, and by informing them that the incident and asking them through their own network to provide the information, we can get independent information AVS from the first media demo. and complement uh, the information that was provided. Also, corroborate or not corroborate what the person does, which tells us something about the credibility of the information that was provided by the first source and also, over time, the reliability of that source. If that source is systematically sending us information which is not being corroborated by others, it also tells something I mean, about the reliability AVS of that Media source. Demo. So typically, in this case, what would happen is that we would receive information that would not be corroborated by other, uh, other sources in our database or from uh, social media or the web, for example. We could send documentation requests to partners or to people on the ground, asking them if you know, to further document the incident. And receive information back in the system. AVS the Media system, Demo. And then basically be able then to create the information we receive from our first source and also uh, and provide the information back. Next slide, please. Just one minute left. One minute left. So, the, behind this ID, what we'd like to use in terms of technology, I mean, to make this happen, is 
of existing technology already. So when I say smart AVS Media I mean, Demo analysis, which is currently being used, I mean, um, to analyze big data streams and trying to make sense. Now, if you use the same technology on, say, small data or structured data, um, it's also easier, basically, I mean, to run semantically, if, I mean, first the information you receive, you know, I mean, to the different semantics that, I mean, the partners are interested in. AVS Media and Demo. And to decide on the relevance of the information. Also, uh, semantic analysis, I mean, might allow you to profile to some extent, I mean, the people who are reporting information to you. Because if you use the language, and um, uh, we don't ask them to tag certain categories, but they can tell us with their own words what they think that happens. If they start using certain languages, which AVS is, you know, media uh, demo. Uh, uh, for example, ethnically loaded or religiously loaded, it tells us also something about the profile of that person and tells us something about uh, the reliability of that person. Now, of course, we don't intend, I mean, we will try to automate as much of the processes in terms of collection, and so make sure that, I mean, the process of collection is guided, so that the people are AVS asking media questions, demo. and based on the answers, we can ask them different types of questions until we get the relevant information we need. And, but, of course, after all, after all, at the end, I mean, the, the humans will still have to make a decision um, if, you know, I mean, the, the incidents are related to one another, if we agree with the, what the machine is prompting us, um, or if the reliability grades and credibility grades, which are given to AVS the media demo information, um, uh, are matching, I mean, our own assessments. Now, of course, with machine learning, I mean, we can make sure that over time, it basically, I mean, the system gets better at it, and that less and less human interactions is needed. I mean, to determine, you know, the relevance of the information, the reliability of the source, the credibility of information. The last part that we also like to implement is microtasking. Which, AVS I mean, Media Demo. Uh, it, it, it's been out there now for some time, and um, the idea is that I mean, if you have a backlog of messages, say that I mean, needs to be checked, uh, then you could decentralize the workload I mean, to the people in your organization, or if you are an organization that has a volunteer basis, I mean, to your volunteers. Typically, what would happen then is that I mean, people who would engage AVS Media Demo with a 30 second quiz, for example. You provide it with I mean, two incidents which share similar characteristics, you know, according to the machine, and uh, being asked if they agree that those incidents seems uh, related to one another. And okay. if, say, three persons agree, then uh, they could, uh, we, we would check it as uh, being corroborated. AVS if Media those, Demo. If three persons don't agree, then. Okay, sure, I'm working on it. No problem. Thanks, Morgan. So, that's for uh, basically a uh, microtasking. Now, next slide, please. Okay. So, just in terms of accessibility, I mean, we intend to develop a system that basically AVS media via uh, um, um, user, I mean, <clears throat> traditional uh, telecommunication channels such as, uh, I mean, uh, text via SMS or USSD. Also, of course, for people who have feature phones to develop a smart app and to be able to take care of uh, vernacular languages or people with um, um, literacy problems. Uh, we're also thinking of uh, hooking things up with AVS uh, media demo. system and uh, call centers. Of course, that's uh, where resource allows it, because we need to blend a lot of processing of the voices into text before we can uh, process it to the system. Next slide, please. I think we might need to... So just to wrap up, basically, um, the idea behind uh, people's intelligence um, are their AVS media power, demo um, to be able to make decisions about their own predicaments without always having to wait for third party intervention. So if people send us relevant information and we can send them back some information that can help them make decisions about I mean their situation, I think it would be better to help them to empower them. Also, early warnings would allow basically third party organizations to make AVS um, media demo about us, uh, you know, I mean, to maybe intervene in, in some cases that really work. Because we believe that the information that the people send us also is their information, we should also provide them with the possibility to, okay, uh, the possibility to create the system and, of course, access the network. So maybe just one last word. Um, AVS Media ethics. Demo. We would like to do this, I mean, take into consideration humanitarian charter and protection principles, uh, so that we make sure that all actions will not have adverse consequences. And a very, very last word, and uh, maybe next slide, please, uh, on the partners we're working with. At the moment, uh, we'll be working with Amnesty International, Free Press Unlimited, 
and the library of his building office, and as well the AVS Media Demo. I mean, to uh, look at their requirements and needs to develop the technology. Next slide, please. And that's my last slide. Um, and and in a few weeks, that's what we need uh, with um, UNHCR, IOM, RCRC, and OCHA to also look at the needs and requirements so that by next year we can start developing the technology. Thank you. AVS Media Demo. 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 This is our application process, right? We have a long job description, blah, blah, blah. And part of the job description is create a volunteering experience. Funny how volunteers tend to be volunteers. When we get the wrong people is when somebody who isn't already a volunteer somewhere else comes in and they think that... AVS Media Demo. AVS Media Demo. AVS Media Demo. AVS Media Demo. AVS Media Demo.
AVS Media Demo. AVS Media Demo. AVS Media Demo. AVS Media Demo. AVS Media Demo. How we manage the work we do. Okay. To make work something you can relate to, it literally goes onto a poster. Have you heard of Kanban? One or two? Okay. Um, Kanban is basically poster notes in different columns. To do doing that. AVS Media Demo. 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 Having that list of blockers is phenomenal. Like, my job now is to clear the blockers from my team to be able to do stuff. Before we had this process, I don't know what fit. Like, I know how to fix a problem in IT. I'm not expecting a volunteer or a member of my team to. 
AVS Media Demo. 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 AVS 
AVS Media demo. 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 AVS 
AVS Media demo. 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 I don't know, this question is for you all. As, as an office person, um, our, our team does stuff and goes to the field and things. Um, we use what works. Yeah. Um, 95, 99% of the time, it's the open source stuff which is available and accessible and works. So we're here because it works. AVS Media Demo. AVS Media Demo. AVS Media Demo. 
AVS Media Demo. AVS Media Demo. AVS Media Demo. AVS Media Demo. AVS Media Demo. AVS Media Demo. AVS Media Demo. AVS Media Demo. AVS Media Demo. AVS Media Demo. AVS Media Demo. AVS Media Demo. AVS Media Demo. Yeah, 
AVS Media demo. Um, I was um, about the set, you were talking about the satellite images, how you transfer them on the ground, and in case if you don't have satellite images, what do you do? We need your balloon. Yeah. Or you waving. It's ready, you can see it on Or you waving like, like it for Jacobat. AVS Media demo. AVS Media Demo. A lot more precise. And this is possible. Uh, the new, new uh, company out there is UAV. So you can go into the internet and see if they have this one. If there is one thing that's missing in the whole workflow, I've talked about if you have imagery and tracing and tagging and data entry and administrative division, the part that we still rely on. You know, AVS Media Demo. AVS Media Demo. AVS Media Demo. 